The conference is underway. It includes, as you mentioned, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, as well as representatives from 50 different nations. This is an important conference because it will have to boil down the details of how to deliver aid to more than 2 million people uh, who are on the ground there still suffering since uh, Cyclone Nargis three weeks ago. Uh, the Myanmar government says it needs, as you mentioned, $11 billion, but there is a discrepancy in what it wants to use the money for and what the UN and other international aid agencies say the money is needed for. Uh, the Myanmar government is basically saying the rebuilding phase should now begin and that the emergency aid phase is over. That is contradictory, uh, completely contradictory to what the UN and the international community is seeing on the ground. Uh, the international community says, look, there are still hundreds of thousands of people who are still going without clean water, without food, and without proper shelter, and that those are the needs that need to be met immediately. For now, the UN is uh, requesting about $200 million in emergency uh, aid relief. They're looking to find that kind of money in this conference. Um, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations is also taking a large part in this. That's a, an organization of 10 Southeast Asian nations. But this is really a test to see what will happen in this conference between uh, the idea of going forward with rebuilding and also trying to get aid to those in desperate need. There are lots of questions from international aid workers as to whether they will be let into the Irrawaddy Delta, the place that was hardest hit by Cyclone Nargis. There are still many people there who have absolutely nothing. Um, and you'll notice that the political issues that have been hitting Myanmar over the years have not been spoken about, uh, and that is on purpose. This is supposed to be an apolitical meeting, but there are lots of issues still going on in Myanmar. For example, on Saturday, the Myanmar's government went ahead with a referendum vote, uh, one that they had asked the areas that were hardest hit to vote on on Saturday that would essentially, if the Myanmar's government wins uh, the vote, would essentially keep the military in power uh, and keep its place there in Myanmar. But for now, there are really a lot of discussions going on in that conference about aid, about how to get aid to where it needs to go, about uh, the military that is standing uh, outside of Myanmar on boats ready to take some of this in. The Myanmar government is basically saying, look, right now we'll let in commercial uh, and uh, international aid agencies, but we're not going to let in uh, the U.S., the Brits, uh, and the French who have their military uh, apparatuses uh, on the coast.